Rose Lee. Today I'm going to be showing you some brand new Adopt Me info about new pets and houses that are coming into the game this Lunar New Year update. Let's go. Okay, so I jumped onto Play Adopt Me's Twitter and then my computer just crashed and I need your guys' help. Have you subscribed yet? If you haven't subscribed, I think that's why my computer's gone crazy. Okay, let's see if you can leave a like on this video and have subscribed and let's see if we can do it in three seconds and hope that it fixes my computer. Okay, three, two, oh, it's starting to go on. One, oh, it's almost there. Here we go, guys. Thank you so much for doing that. We turned the computer back on. Okay, let me show you the awesome tea that Adopt Me posted the other day. So, a couple of days ago, Adopt Me uploaded this. Get ready to decorate. And it's a Chinese temple, guys! Take a look at this. It looks so awesome! And this is an actual house coming into Adopt Me. It's not just a building. You can tell by, take a look at the start. If we go all the way to the very start, we can see that it says buy Courtney's house. And that means it's a real house coming into Adopt Me. It's also got the mailbox. And also buy Courtney is actually like a developer of Adopt Me. So this is legit. And this is so awesome. Look at how cool it is. I love how awesome it looks. And it looks like really Chinese traditional. It looks like a traditional Chinese temple and it looks so detailed. I love the windows so much. So I think there's actually going to be new furniture coming to the game that goes along with this theme. We had new furniture coming to the game last year, this time last year, and it was really cool. So I wonder if Adopt Me can top last year's furniture. But I really can't wait for this house to come into the game. I think there's going to be a hot spring inside the house. So instead of having a pool, there'll be a hot spring. And we can decorate it with all the brand new hot spring furniture, which would actually be really cool. So I can't wait for this to come into the game, guys. It looks awesome. And also I found a picture of what it looks like in real life. Take a look at how cool this looks. Like, I love how detailed it is in real life. I'm joking, guys. That's just a Lego set. Take a look at this. Oh, oh, I, cli I clicked the wrong button. Take a look at this. Guys, how cool does this look? It's a traditional Chinese temple and it looks so awesome. Like there are so many Chinese lanterns here. You think that's a lot? Take a look at this. There's probably a thousand Chinese lanterns just in this photo alone. There are so many Chinese lanterns, it's crazy. And guys, this is one of the older ones that's probably like really old. Probably like a thousand. I know how old these are, but I'm not sure how old, but this definitely looks really old. And also there's this, and it just looks so amazing. I love the detail, like the dragons on the top. It just looks so awesome. It reminds me of Kung Fu Panda, <laughs> to be honest. Remember when like in Kung Fu Panda 3, they had that fight on the roof? It's what the dra- it looks like the dragons are having a fight on the roof. <laughs> Did you just hear my ringtone? My friend's texting me and it's like, hello, like Kevin from Home Alone saying hello. So guys, this actually looks really awesome. And also Lego has this really awesome set, which I think looks pretty awesome. But guys, just take a look at how intricate and detailed these are. I can't wait for one to come into Adopt Me. But guys, let's take a look at some pets that might be coming into the game. So now we're on Forever Sparks brand new video, if I updated Adopt Me on Luna New Year. And let's take a look at her ideas. So let's press play and take a look at this. So her login rewards are a hundred bucks a Luna Festival kite, a Luna Surprise, which will be a new gift, 500 bucks, and a cute little mouse pet, guys. That is super, super cute. I just want to pick it up and give it a big hug. It's such a cute little mouse pet. Okay, what else is there? Oh, a traditional gift, so a different type of gift. There's 100 bucks, 500 bucks, a Luna limo. Oh my gosh, a new type of limousine. That'll be really awesome. And also a Boba Blaster. Oh my gosh, they're like, it would just shoot out Boba T. That'd be so awesome. Imagine a Boba T machine gun. But guys, if you didn't know, I've actually got a channel called Empire Family and that's where I do all the family vlogs with my two mums and my sister. And my sister actually opened up a Boba T restaurant and it was so awesome. It was like a sushi train and also some bubble tea. So make sure to go check it out if you haven't already. The link will be down in the description below and also right here. But guys, let's keep watching. So, do Okay, next reward is the panda petware and it's a cute little headband with a little bow on it. It is super cute. There's a hundred bucks again, 500 bucks, a red stylish scooter. That's pretty cool, but I think that's from the game Overlook Bay. But then there's also a mysterious... Secret pet? 
I wonder what that pet is, guys. Okay. Next up is a traditional red envelope gift. Is that what she said? Ah, that's confuzzling my brain. Traditional red envelope cash gift. Oh, the red envelopes that they give out in Chinese New Year. I've had a few different friends at school, like, bring them in because they're Chinese and they celebrate, like, Chinese New Year and stuff. And it's like you get just a present from your parents or family from that. That's pretty cool. Imagine that in Adopt Me. But would your friends give it to you or... Oh, it's just from Adopt Me and it gives you 5,000 bucks. That's a lot of bucks. Happy Lunar New Year. To celebrate the Adopt Me team has rewarded you with some cash. Oh my gosh, 5,000 bucks. That could buy you like four royal eggs. That's so crazy. Okay, next up is a new Robux pet. Okay, we've actually got a Robux pet that's been confirmed by Adopt Me, but this is the Fortune Dog. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at it jumping up and down, guys. Okay, but... If you didn't know already, there's actually a guardian lion coming into the game and it's been confirmed by the Adopt Me team. Let me show it to you guys. So if we go over to Adopt Me Twitter and scroll down a little bit, guys, we can actually see the awesome guardian lion. Look at this pretzel army. <laughs> Guys, it is the Guardian Lion. It looks so cool. Look at how detailed it is. And we already know that this is going to be a Robux pet, and it's also a legendary pet. But guys, it is so awesome. Look at it bobbing up and down, and when it blinks. I love how Adopt Me Pets blink. It's just so detailed. Adopt Me like, just works on the little details, and I feel like those little details string the game all together and make it really, really awesome. But guys, if you want to see some more tea on the Guardian Lion, go check out my other Guardian Lion videos where I talk about that in more detail. But guys, we're taking a look at new tea today. Let's go back to Forever Sparks video. And for this, we have a new refreshment stand. Okay, let's press play. It's a little dumpling stand. And oh my gosh, you can sell little dumplings. And it has a Chinese lantern hanging from it. Oh my gosh. And then you can go and sell them. That's actually really cool. This is like full Adopt Me style. I love how Rose Sparks like recreates Adopt Me. It like recreates the whole Adopt Me system. It is so awesome. It's really, really cool. And number five is a Lunar New Year shop. So you can buy the Guardian Lion, guys. That's what the Guardian Lion looks in 3D. Then we've also got the Firework Cannon. A baby panda plush, so you can buy all of this stuff. But it's only available until the 18th. That was a while ago. Never mind. Um, let's take a look through it though. There's a pet, a pet dumpling that just rolled next to you. Oh, that'll be so funny. But there's also a lantern rattle, a festival potion. Ooh, what would that do? A festival potion? And there's also a firework rattle, a lucky cub, and some dim sums. Oh, the other one would be a dim sum stall, not a dumpling stall. I'm, I'm sorry to anybody. I'm sorry if I insulted anybody with that. I don't really eat much Chinese food. I don't know where some foods traditionally come from. I know pizzas from Domino's, uh, burgers from Macca's. I just know what shops they come from. But guys, this is actually some really cool updates. Which update was your favorite? Guys, I'm gonna have to say the new Robux pet. Cause come on, a new Robux pet will be so awesome. And guys, if you don't have Robux to go and get this pet, don't forget to enter my Robux giveaway. It's super simple to enter. You see, so leave a like in this video, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username. That's all you need to do, guys. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Have the best day ever. Peace.